this is a 75 pound guitar. This is a 15 grand guitar. I'm gonna see if I can make this sound and play like this in six hours. Let's go. So we've got this Encore Strat, which is a friend of mine, uh, owned by a friend of mine even. Um, this he bought 25 years ago with money that his grandmother gave him for university books. And he didn't spend it on books. Spent it on guitar, which is a far more sensible thing to do. This guitar is 75 pounds, made 20, 25 years ago. Um, this is before people had actually started pumping money into figuring out how to make the cheap stuff really good. And now you could, for, the, for you know, 100 quid, 200 quid, you can buy yourself an amazing guitar. Look at that. Okay, that's the bridge pickup. The neck's got too much relief, so which means it's pulling this way too much. Um, so that means the strings are way too high. The nut is all over the shop, um, so it's very, very high off the fingerboard. So when you're playing chords down here, you're effectively you're bending the string more than you need to, so you're pulling it out of tune. What we also have here is a 1963 Fender Stratocaster, worth, I mean they fluctuate, but around 15, 14 grand. <laughs> It's just, just one of the coolest guitars out there. Super versatile. I'm gonna see if I can make this one sound and play like this one in about six hours. Let's go. What we're doing here is just heating, heating the fret up slightly. I say slightly, it's 350 degrees, but um, that breaks down, if there's any glue underneath there, it breaks that down, it also softens the wood a little bit, makes it easier for the fret to come out very slowly. Down. The neck is sort of going like this, so it's got more relief in it than we need. And I'll just tighten up the truss rod and see if we can get rid of that. The truss rod is actually put in, is put in bent, so it's like this. And then when you tighten it, you're straightening it out, counteracting the, the tension that the, the strings are putting on the neck. Just you want to, you want to get the neck as kind of straight as, as possible. We're going to sand with this radius. We're going to do a nine and a half, so it's a modern Fender radius, because this gives the best of kind of comfort for chords, but also you can get the action nice and low for solo-y stuff. So now that's all reshaped. We need to start polishing the wood up. And the wood, wood is made up of tubes. So what we want to do is what's called raise the grain. So we're going to put some water on the, on the fingerboard, which will make the ends of the grain stick up a little bit dry it off and then sand it down. We're going to do that with various different grits of sandpaper so by the end it's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Yeah, that's feeling like, like glass now. This is a saw with a block of acrylic on it that you can set to that depth. Now we know that those slots are going to be the right depth. This is fret wire, so it comes in a few different types. With this one, we're going to use our standard stuff, which is the you know, nickel, uh, nickel fret wire. I've got some super glue. Little tap, little tap, and then we're working from the middle out. So. going to reprofile them so start to put that crown back in. This is wire wall, this is triple O wire wall. Super, super, super fine. So as you can see, bung that on, it's starting to get a proper shine back. Finally, the final polishing part is this, which is old school teacup, the same thing you buff your cars with. Lighter fluid, got a guitar neck. And just to pour it all over like this. This cleans off 
full of that gunk. This is our instrument food. It's just a combo of beeswax and some oils and stuff. That's looking pretty, pretty spanking to me. Okay, so now we're gonna be making a new nut for this thing. So this was the original nut, which is a, a plastic that's broken, see? Um, so that's just the original one. We're now making a bone one. So this is actually an unbleached bone nut. They impregnate this with an oil, so it's sort of extra slippy. So now we're flipping over to the bodies. So what we're going to do is going to rip all of these out. This is one of uh, this is one of the ready-made looms that we do. This is one of our little uh, these are my favourite things. It's a, an old Russian uh, capacitor. I think this guy, my my contact Dennis over in Russia, must have just stumbled across a bunker or something because these all turn up in the original packaging with all the original certificates from like 78 and sonically they sound amazing. The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to replace the pickups with these. Now these are some pickups I make that are from our original series. There are 62 replicas. They are the thing that transfers the movement of your string into your signal path, into your tone and you need to have the best kind of converters for that and this will be the best for that job. Fender did when they started some of their advertising cam campaigns, they had this thing called Fender Firsts, which uh, was you know, things like the tremolo and things, but this, this was a Fender First and they called it a surface mounted plug receptacle. Jack plates. <laughs> Everything is done, so now it's a case of seeing how it compares to that 63 Strat. I hope it works. <laughs> okay, so here we've got this a 1963 Fender Strat, um, worth at the minute around about 14, 15 thousand pounds. So we're going to see how this one sounds. <coughs> going to flip over to this. This is a 75 pound, 25 year old Encore Strat that we have, well, five hours ago was stock. Now we've reshot it, refretted it, put a new nut on it, put new pickups in it, put a new wiring loom in it and set it up and see if it can get anywhere near this. Let's go. I'm just gonna have to t switch back, hang on. Ugh. Sounds, it sounds really good. Um, it's got l great top end clarity, nice fatness. Um, it doesn't have the low, like the lower mids that the 63 has, but I think for for an encore strat, it sounds absolutely brilliant. Um, <laughs> Feels great. Um, the neck on it feels it's it's really solid. Plays really really fast. Yeah, I think I think we've done a good one. <laughs>